Your plant and garden questions answered live. Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is standing by. The number to call is 270-9933. Hi, Lisa. Hi, how Lisa. you doing? I'm good. How are you guys? It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it really is spectacular. Yeah, good to see you. The phones are jammed, so let's go ahead okay. and we'll start with Tom in Middleton. Hi, Tom. What's your question? Hi, Lisa. Um, I've got weeds and grasses in my asparagus patch. Is there any way of getting rid of those? You can get rid of the grasses, Tom, by using a um, herbicide that is specific for grasses. So you can spray that, it won't harm your asparagus. As far as the broadleaf weeds, you're gonna have to pull those out or very carefully spray them individually. There isn't a herbicide that can designate from one broadleaf weed to it or broadleaf plant to another. But you can get rid of the grasses. Okay. Let's go to Kathy in Verona. Hi, Kathy, what's your question? Hi, Lisa. I've got two pear trees in full bloom. Is this warm weather going to hurt them? Outside? Yeah. Outside? outside? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, okay, so they're probably calorie pears, which are ornamental. Um, first of all, send me a photo. Briggs at BruceCompany.com. It will probably not hurt them. Um, depending on what the weather does, you might get some nipping on the foliage if it continues to develop. Calorie pears usually bloom before they leaf out. Um, they must be in a really protected spot. If the weather gets bad and they develop some foliage, then I would definitely get some floating row cover if the trees aren't too big and try to protect them from any frost. Okay, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Good okay. luck. Thank you for calling. Let's go to Judy in Madison. Hi, Judy. What's your question? Um, my question is, I have a smoke plant, and I would like to know if this is the proper time to prune it. So smoke bushes are a little bit on the edge of their hardiness zone, and sometimes they flower and sometimes they don't, but they do flower, they set their flower buds on the year before's wood. So anything that you do pruning-wise now is going to cut off some of the flower buds that have already developed. However, since they're on the edge of their hardiness zone and we did have that cold, sort of cold snap, you might find that you've got some winter dieback anyway. I would wait until the leaves start to bud out and then prune back whatever's dead. You're probably gonna sacrifice some flowers, but if you don't get a lot of dye back and you have flowers, then prune right after it's flowered. That's the best time to do the shaping on it. All right, thanks for the call. Let's go to Barb in Watertown. Hi, Barb, what's your question? Hi, um, I have a, a lilac bush that's probably about 30 years old, wow. and it's got a lot of dead wood in it. Mm -hmm. Someone told me I can uh, cut it down all the way to the ground and it'll come back. Is that true or no? That is true, although it does take some time. What might be a better way to do it is to every spring, or you can do it now, um, go in and take out, say, 25 or 30% of the oldest, biggest stems. You take those all the way back to the ground and then do that over a period of a few years. As you open up um, light into that, new suckers will come from the base and then you can just sort of gradually take out the old stuff while encouraging new growth. It'll recover a little bit faster that way and it won't look so drastic. All, All right. right, let's go to Robert in Milton. Hi, Robert, what's your question? Uh, we moved to a place that there's no trees behind us this last year. And this winter's been really windy. We would like to plant some kind of plants, you know, some heights to them, to, not, not to, so we can't see the fields, but so that it would slow some of that wind down. Can you recommend any types of plants or any names of things I could go to sure. look for? If you're wanting to put trees in, um, a really good um, sort of partially native plant would be our river birch. Um, there are different uh, varieties or cultivars that will get to different heights, but they do grow quite quickly and they will give you sort of a loose canopy the leaves are kind of small so you can still see through but the uh, branching is dense enough that it will do some um it will help break that wind in the winter and there are other shade trees and larger shrubs as well that you could use stop into the garden center or email us at the plant desk and we can give you more suggestions okay let's go to pat in janesville hi pat what's your question 
Hi, I've got a question about uh, some hydrangeas that I've got uh, in the front yard, and I'm not sure when a good time of year to plant, or I mean to cut them back. Um, I've had them for about six, eight years, and... Okay. Um, Can you tell me, are the flowers cone-shaped or round? Uh, I wouldn't say they're round. And they okay. come out white, and then they get pink, and then they turn a really deep red, and then they... They, you okay, know, they those, turn are, brown again. those are the um, the PG tri types. So mm -hmm. PG hydrangeas bloom on new wood, which means that they will set their flower buds at the same time that they're actively growing in the spring for the current year's flowers. PGs are best pruned, I believe, in the spring. So I would wait until they will start to bud out, and you'll see little pairs of leaves. You can cut back the old blossoms and any dieback, and then you can shape. But you just want to prune just above where you see that pair of leaf buds starting to expand. All right. Everybody's got spring fever, I think. Oh, I know. I know. We all want to go out and prune. It's going to yeah. be a good pruning weekend. Yeah, we do. <laughs> all right. We're out of time. Thank you all for calling in, Lisa. Thank you for your time. We'll see you soon. You're welcome.